Hey guys, Tom McKeown, www.yourtruechange.com. Thanks so much for joining me, December 5, 2013. We're heading toward the end of the year. Boy, it's getting dark and gray and gruely outside. I don't want to be uh, in this weather, but hopefully uh, it's uh, wherever the heck you are. It's uh, not for too much longer. Uh, I know uh, here in Austin, Texas, uh, it's for a very limited amount of time because uh, we have over 300 days a year of sun here. That's right. I shouldn't have told you that because I do not want more people coming into this place. It is already exploding and growing way too fast. Today I want to talk to you about the number one best way to assure that you can, that you can solve any problem that you have in 24 hours uh, or less. And the way to do it is you need to understand that all problems, whether they're in your life, whether they're math problems, uh, whether uh, they are other people's, when people are coming to you asking you for advice, all problems are either one in one of two categories, okay? Uh, one, you have surface problems, and two, you have structural problems. A surface problem is, let's say, for example, uh, you're trying to walk into another room and the door is locked. Well, you realize that the reason why the door is locked is because you don't it is it because somebody locked it on the other side and you need a key. So what do you do? You either go and find the key, you either go and you call a locksmith, or you just simply jam the freaking thing down with your foot, right? That's a surface problem. That could be dealt with easily in less than one day. The majority of problems that we deal with are surface problems and if we and and hopefully we stay to trying to only solve those surface problems in one day. The other kind of problem, this is the problem that gets most people, that gives mo most people more and more and more and more problems, and bigger problems, and really the problem that uh, leads to kind of the, kind of the uh, let's say, more problematic times in our life. Uh, can I possibly say the, the, the word problem more? Probably. Um, are structural problems, and structural problems is, let's say, that the door will not open, and you try to open the door and you realize that, oh shoot, the door's not going to open because there's a 30 ton cement wall immediately behind it, right? So no key or no foot or no locksmith is going to help you here. You basically have no option but to gradually chip away at it and God knows how long that'll take, right? So what I'm trying to say is you need to make it a point to solve only surface problems and then for structural problems, you need to create a plan, okay, because you're not going to solve them in one day. They're going to take time, so you need to accept it and create a plan. For example, let's say, for example, uh, that, uh, that every single month you're trying to pay your bills, and you're, it, it's like literally, but, uh, it's, you, it's coming down to the wire to the point where you can keep your electricity on, you can pay your rent, uh, you can keep your gas on, you can keep your cable on, uh, you know, last couple of days of, of, of the month, you're calling your uncle, you're calling everybody you know to man to get some more money to pay, you're on the verge of having a heart attack. Well, that's a structural problem because clearly you're not making enough money to support your expenses. So that's a problem that you've got to fix, but the reality is that it's not going to take place in one day. So, but what you do is if you don't try to create a plan and start working on it gradually, meaning go behind that door and start to gradually burn that wall, um, you know, um, you know, uh, with an iron and see it melt gradually. So maybe in about a week, that whole cement uh, wall will 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 uh, fully collapse. Uh, instead of doing that, you try to basically just keep ramming it and ramming it and you try to think it's going to fall and it's not, right? And that's the, that's the reason why so many people struggle with structural problems. They don't acknowledge uh, the depth and the breadth of them. The only way you're going to solve a structural problem, a 30-ton cement wall behind the door that can't open, is frankly is if you create a long-term plan to gradually chip away at it and take the rest of your time to focus on surface problems. Okay, so instead of sitting there trying to set yourself up every single month trying to scrape pennies off the couch and calling Uncle Joe and, you know, you know, uh, shortchanging, uh, you know, the, 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 the uh, poor waitress at the cafe, you should be, you know, cutting your bills, you should be looking for a new, less expensive place, you should be living within your means. Gradually do everything you can to solve these structural problems, and then if, if you want to live that way, that that way again, 
Go and apply for a better job. Start a business. Profits are better than wages. Do what you can to make more money, but don't dare experience structural problems and think that you're going to solve them in one day. Only deal with the stuff on the surface, the doors that you can kick down. Thanks again. That, that's how to solve any problem you have in the entire book, acknowledging what's surface, what's structural, and stick with the plan for structural and only deal with surface. I'm Tom McKeown, www.yourtruechange.com. Thanks. Talk to you next time.